all that. But more so, I love you for just being you, Jesus of Nazareth. You alone, more than enough to be loved. You are the reason for everyone should love you. Because there is none like Jesus. I love you for you, Lord, not for what you do for me. That's true love. Now that is true love. So they all said, Alleluia. So what do they say? What are they saying? In other words, thank you for being you. Thank you, Lord. So this great multitude who made a voice like many waters and mighty thunderings, their love for the Lord was genuine. That's what it means. Genuine love from the heart to the heart. From the heart to the heart. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Don't ever let your going to church as an obligation or a duty. Don't ever pray because you are in need of God's mercy. That's why you pray. Don't ever do charitable deed because you need something in return. Somebody to come and glorify you or reward you in a different way. You need to do it all for the sake of Jesus being Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I go to church because I love you, Lord. I pray because I love you. I read the Holy Bible because I love you. I do charitable deeds because I love you. I don't want nothing from you. I just love you for being Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is my ultimate reward and the only reward. I don't want anything else. Thank you, Lord, for being you. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord. So come to church because you love the Lord. Don't come for any other reason. Come for the Lord. No one else. But come for the Lord. Come for the Lord.